Hi guys. Welcome to Smile Styles Philosophies. Like I've been saying, I'm doing this Ouija board challenge. And I've done everything I was supposed to do. I tried to open a portal. I tried to get some people over here to participate with the Ouija board so I can call in some spirits. Either to prove that spirits don't exist or to prove that even if they did, I could fuck over them. But uh, first of all, like I said, in the Ouija board defense, it does take two people. I tried to do it by myself because nobody wanted to play. And it didn't work as far as I know. Now, did I open the portal to the spirit world? I'm not sure. I have no way of checking. I don't have a PKE meter. Uh, but I do know that if the spirits did come through the portal, they didn't talk to me. And I can't blame them because, fuck, they don't want this. I would put ghost ass. Now, this part of the challenge was to prove the chick that told me about the Ouija board said, first, you can't throw it away because apparently some woman was using a Ouija board and she tried to throw it in the trash and as soon as she came back in the house, the Ouija board was back on the table. <laughs> I got mad with that shit. Second, she says it can't be burnt. Now, as far as I can tell, this is made out of plastic. I don't think it's laced with any non-flammable material, so I, I believe that I can burn one. Then I thought about it. I might not burn this one. I might not throw it away. I might have to get another one to burn that one. And then buy another one and throw that away. Because I don't want to get rid of the Ouija boy. You know why? Even though I don't believe it. Even though I know it's fake. Even though I know all the stories they tell, uh, tell about it aren't accurate or true. It's just the fact that I know that some people do believe in it. Some people do fear it. And that gives me a psychological advantage over those people. By knowing that they're so simple that they actually believe in it, I know I can fuck over them by using their fear of it to my advantage. It's a psychological thing. So I'm keeping this Ouija board for people that believe in it so I can fuck over them. Y'all just gave me power. By admitting that y'all believe in it, by admitting that you're afraid of it, you just gave me points. You just gave me a way I can fuck over you whenever I felt like it. Now I can manipulate you. Now I can make you do what I want you to do because you're afraid of it. That's why I'm keeping the Ouija board. See, if you was a strong enough person, you know the shit don't exist, I wouldn't affect you. But the fact that you're letting me know that you have a weakness towards some shit you don't understand, I can use this to my advantage. Let's say I can use it as a deterrent. Let's say they got a chick she want to come over to my house and I don't feel like being bothered with, me. bothered with her. She might call up like, hey, Smiles, I want to come over and drink. And in my head, I'm like, I really don't want to drink with her. She pissed me off last time. Instead of saying no and being a dick and being mean, I could say, yeah, come over. Oh, yeah, and while you're here, I got this cool new thing. It's called the Ouija board. We can play that. And she's scared of it. So she says, oh, never mind. I, I'll, I'll just stay here. I don't, I don't want to get into all that. See? I just made you not come to my house because you were afraid of a Ouija board. I love it. I love the fact that I have a mental advantage over you. I love the fact that I have a psychological advantage over you. I like using your fears over nonsense to fuck over you. So, y'all giving me the power. I'm not making this up. You told me you was afraid of it. You told me it worked. And you told me you believed it worked. Therefore, I will always, like, like picture this. Let's say I want them to do something and they believe in the Ouija board, but they don't want to do it, right? So I say, well, I talked to your mom on the Ouija board, and she really suggests that you do it. And if she don't believe me, we can throw the Ouija board out. I can, I can move it to the letters that I wanted to move to and make you do whatever you thought your mama told you to do, even though it was really me doing it. Like, mommy, I really don't want to do it. Then I move it around. Oh, your mom said you got to do it. You, you read it just like I read it. I love having that psychological advantage. So I had to buy another one. Well, I actually had to buy two of these so I can burn one and throw away one to prove that it can be burnt and it can be thrown away. But, I also have a new challenge that I'm going to do to prove that the spirit world don't exist. You know what I'm saying? I say, why well, stop at the Ouija board, right? I am going to read my temper cards. This is going to prove the accuracy of the spirit world reading. Now, a lot of people think that I'm shallow, 
but I actually do know how to read tarot cards. I never expressed it. I never said I did. Anybody can actually do it. It doesn't take a psychic, a witch, or a tarot card reader to read the tarot cards. All you have to do is pay attention to what they mean and read them in a proper context. And anybody, anybody can have an accurate reading. Remember that? You remember that, that slang that says the cards don't lie? If you really knew how to read the tarot cards, you're right. They don't lie because the interpretations are so vague. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to give you accurate readings about people that we all know like celebrities or something. And I guarantee you all of them are going to be right. Why? Because the way the tarot card is designed, all the interpretations are vague and they really apply to anything. That's what makes the tarot cards work. The vague interpretations. Now, like I said, I learned how to read them. And I'm going to read them for you. All I need y'all to do is probably pick the celebrity. All right? All right.